Hello guys, my name is Alena. Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to install your Python IDE on Ubuntu. Uh, I have the latest version of Ubuntu, uh, so without wasting time, uh, let us start. So here, uh, this is the PyCharm uh, site. Uh, just to show you, I came here. I just searched for PyCharm, and the first uh, and the first result that I got the Judge Brains uh, PyCharm. Uh, so, so I go there. Uh, I just want to be sure of the version that I need. Click download. So here, as you can see, we have this version, which is the which is the latest version. That is the version that we are going to download using using uh, sudo snap. Uh, snap is a special repository for for Linux uh, applications. So now uh, we are going to open our terminal. or we'll just click uh, control. Just press control alternate T. We are going to open uh, it. So now uh, the first step, let's check uh, Python version. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Python 3 version. Python comes uh, pre-installed with Ubuntu, uh, so you don't need to download it again. So here it is, we have Python 3.85, which is the latest version as at the time of recording this this video uh, so what you are going to do is to check uh, if you have pycharm like i said you are going to check a special repository known as snap so we can use it snap find pycharm so now uh, so now as you can see we have pycharm and this is the this is the version that we are going to be installing it is a free it's a free version and it is by JetBrains as, and as you can see here it is the same version as we saw on the website so the next uh, command that we are going to run is sudo snap install pycharm install pycharm uh, it's the same uh, we use uh, so as not to make any mistake, let's copy this one and paste here. PyCharm community, I will just pass uh, a, a flag, the classic flag. So now put in your password, your Ubuntu password. So, so uh, it says it says PyCharm uh, community is already installed. Uh, this is because I already installed it. But uh, but if you run this command, it is going to tell you uh, it is going to install PyCharm, and the result uh, is going to be something like this here. Uh, so once you've done uh, all that, uh, the next step we just we are going to open PyCharm. You can uh, let's search for it. So so you can see it here, or you can just search for it. Yeah. So now we are going to wait for PyCharm to launch. And that is it. Yeah, you can start a new project, install. A project. It is. A, uh, it depends on however you want to use it. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.